Hi, I'm Steve Endo, and today I'd like to introduce the Dynamics GP Transaction Search Utility. And this is a free tool that I've developed to help you find Dynamics GP data faster. So the goal of this project was to replace the Dynamics GP Payables Transaction Inquiry windows. If you've ever used either of the Payables Transaction Inquiry windows, you know that they can be a little bit limited and a little bit slow if you are using them with a large company database. So I was looking to develop a simple, fast transaction inquiry window that allowed you to search on multiple fields simultaneously and provided fast search results as you typed your search criteria. And it also provides a platform for adding additional fields to the search window that are not available in a transaction inquiry window. So let's do a quick demo of version one. And version one of the GP transaction search includes the PM transaction search window. And so this window allows you to search payables transactions. In the future, I hope to add support for AR, SOP, POP, inventory, etc. additional modules. So here I have Dynamics GP and the PM transaction search window is available through several windows under the additional menu. So you can open the Payables Transaction Inquiry document window, click on Additional, and open PM Transaction Search. Additionally, the GP Transaction Search has the ability to replace the standard GP windows. So for instance, if I click on Payables Transaction Inquiry Vendor, that shortcut actually launches the custom PM Transaction Search window. And that option is configurable for either of the windows in GP. So in this case, it starts with a default date range, and simply by pressing enter, it executes the search and returns the data. In this case, the window is calling a single store procedure, which is limited to return 200 records. The goal of this window is not to return a large amount of data. It's actually the opposite. It's designed to allow a user to quickly find a very few number of transactions. So if you're searching for a specific invoice, a specific dollar amount, a specific payment, that's what this window is ideal for. So for instance, we entered a date range, perhaps the vendor is called, and I wanna know whether we paid advanced office systems. Well, we believe it was in early part of 2017. So let's change this to April and press enter and we believe the amount was between $100 and $300. So that quickly, I can narrow down the available transactions that I'm looking for and quickly find that it was the invoice from March 27th for $183 that I wanted. Or if I happen to know the exact amount, I can enter that as well. Now once I have these search results, I can right click on them. I can view the vendor. Perhaps I want to verify the vendor information, check the mailing address, and ensure that we sent the check to the right address. Or if I want to drill into the transaction, I can click here and view more information about the invoice. I can also simply double click on the row. So once I double click, it drills into the transaction entry zoom window, very similar to the capabilities of the native transaction inquiry window. So from here, I can see all of the transaction information, perhaps look at the note, and I can even click on the apply button to look at the payments that paid that invoice. In addition to displaying your search results, this search window shows you how many records are returned by your search, as well as the amount of time required to retrieve the data from SQL Server and display it in the window. So if your query is taking too long, you can take a look at the underlying store procedure and perhaps optimize it to meet the needs for your company database. Up here, we have a copy feature. So if you have a set of results that you'd like to share with someone or you'd like to analyze, you'd like to take a look at further in Excel, you just click the copy button, launch Excel, open a new workbook, and you can paste the results in here and then format them. In case you want to save the data, you can just click on the CSV button and we'll type in PMTRX and it'll save those results to a CSV file that you can email, you can analyze, or you can just save for reference later. So as you can see, this is a very fast, very capable, very flexible feature-filled window 
that I think offers a good substitute for the default payables transaction inquiry windows. This design can be expanded to include other modules such as receivable, sales order processing, inventory, payroll. Just about any other module in Dynamics GP can be replaced to have their inquiry windows use this type of search window. The GP transaction search utility will be available for Dynamics GP 2013 through 2018, and the initial release is available at my website at precipioservices.com under the free products page. Ultimately, the goal is to open source this project so that any Dynamics GP developers can help contribute to the project, enhance it, and improve it over time. I hope that was interesting. If you're interested in learning more, please follow me at Steve Endo on Twitter or take a look at my blog at dynamicsgpland.blogspot.com.